Major construction for the Honolulu Rail Project on Dillingham Boulevard has put some businesses on the brink of closing. KITV Forest Kristen Concilio today spoke to some owners who have seen a huge drop off in customers. Agnes Rowe and her husband invested their life savings into their small business on Dillingham Boulevard. With all of this going on right outside her front door, the owner of this Marshallese Bake Shop says business has dropped in half and she doesn't know how much longer she'll be able to survive. Coming here on Dillingham side is really, really terrible. We're trying to avoid that normally every single day. When they moved to the area a year ago, they didn't realize the huge impact the construction for Oahu's rail transit system would have. Customers do come in and they're frustrated with where they have to go. Like they got to turn that way, they got to turn that, they got to park all over there. We see constructions in the front and it's just like people doesn't want to deal with the hassle. The Honolulu City Council on Wednesday approved a plan to re-evaluate a transit mitigation fund that could provide some relief to businesses affected by the construction. We want to be fair, want to be equitable with what happened to some extent in the past, but as well as knowing that going forward, as we move into um, areas with more density, um, if we commit to Dillingham, we probably have to commit in downtown. The $10 billion rail project is expected to disrupt businesses in the urban core for years to come. You invest so much into this one thing and then you have this, this big thing that is standing in the way. Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.